Hey guys, Mobile Geezer here. And as soon as you guys see the hacker image behind me, you pretty much know what this is about. This is another vulnerability being reported to us by Tom's Guide. And this one is very much an important one. So sharing screen here, this just came out today, a couple of hours ago. And this was by Anthony Spadafora, who usually gives us uh, our updates on these things. Urgent Windows Update fixes loads of security flaws, including two zero days. Install this patch right now. Don't give hackers an easy way into your PC by putting off this update. I updated my uh, Surface Pro 8 last night and updated my laptop today. So it behooves you to get this done right away. Let me drop this into read view and let you guys see what this is all about. As part of its Patch Tuesday updates for February 2024, Microsoft has released fixes to address 73 security flaws across its entire product lineup from Windows to Office. Of these 73 different vulnerabilities, five of them are related as critical, though the rest all have a CVSS common vulnerability scoring system score of five or higher, according to a support document from Microsoft. While most of these security flaws have yet to be used in cyber attacks, the two zero-day vulnerabilities that the software giant has patched are actively being exploited by hackers. So let's get it done quickly, folks. Besides updating Windows, though, you're also going to want to install the latest version of Microsoft Edge as 24 flaws have been patched since the release of last month's Patch Tuesday updates, according to the Hacker News. Didn't know that, but of course, you can update Microsoft Edge in a matter of seconds. Here's everything you need to know about this latest round of Patch Tuesday updates and why you should install them right now, along with some tips to help keep your PC safe from hackers. Actively exploited zero-day flaws. For the most part, it's not that likely that many of these flaws can be exploited by hackers, but there are four of them that Microsoft believes could be used in potential attacks. They include a flaw in Microsoft Office, one in Outlook, one related to a Windows kernel driver, and one in the Windows kernel itself. So they're really getting down into the root of this stuff. However, it's the two now patched zero days that are actually worth worrying about. The first zero day tracked as CVE 21351 is a Windows smart screen security feature bypassed with a CVSS score of 7.6 out of 10. This vulnerability is being exploited by hackers to inject code into smart screen, which could lead to your data being exposed. However, an attacker would first need to send potential victims a malicious file and convince them to open it in order to leverage this flaw in their attack. So again, don't open stuff from people you don't know. The second zero day tracked as CVE 2024-21412 is an internet shortcut file security feature bypassed with a CVSS score of 8.1 out of 10. So obviously a higher score. This one is more dangerous as it can be used by an unauthenticated it can be used by an unauthenticated attacker to send potential victims a specifically crafted file which can bypass displayed security checks. Like the other zero day in this series of Patch Tuesday updates though, the hacker exploiting it would have to convince their victim to click on the file link for their attack to work. So once again, don't click on those links from people you don't know. According to a blog post from Malwarebytes, both of these zero days affects Microsoft's mark of the web technology, which is used to ensure 
that Windows displays a pop-up warning message when users try to open a file that was downloaded from the internet. Without these pop-ups appearing, Windows users could end up installing dangerous software that they may not, that they might have otherwise not allowed on these on their PCs. And yet, those pop-ups do help you not installing something you don't know. How to keep your PC safe from hackers. Just like with one of the best MacBooks, the easiest way to protect your Windows laptop from hackers is to install updates as soon as they become available. Although this may be slightly inconvenient, hackers love going after devices that haven't been updated even though a fix is available. Here's how to update Windows 11 or update Windows 10 in case you need some extra help. And if you run into any problems, you just click on these links. This is how to fix a stuck Windows update. However, a lot of times when a big update is available, Windows will download it in the background and it will be applied to your, uh, it will be applied the next time you restart your PC. And that's what happened with both the one I installed last night and the one I installed today. So I'm not gonna read the rest, but thought I should let you guys know about this one as soon as it came out. So just wanted to get that to you guys right away and I guess update your Windows right away and also your Microsoft Edge. So as always, comments are welcome. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like my content, please share the videos with friends, family, or whomever you think might be interested. Subscribe if you haven't already done so and be sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I upload. And please hit the thumbs up as it does help with the algorithm. And always remember, we all do better when we love each other.